Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I'm here to explain the bow, the teleporting bow, and this doesn't have to be a teleporting bow, but I'm actually going to give you, like, um, a too long of a <laughs> teleporting thing I got, a, I got kind of into the teleportation thing. So, what this is doing is it, um, you can't hear what the sound is right now, and I'll show you what the sound is later. Um, I mean, I could, uh, record the sound but it'd be a little bit weird to do that so um it's pretty much just um doing the sound of what the L uh Enderman uh sound is. So right now I'm just teleporting over over and over uh wherever the arrow lands, no matter what. And so what this is doing is it is um yeah, it's a command block on a really fast clock that is teleporting you to the arrow no matter where it is, except for it has to be on ground. And I'll show you the command to that too again about right now. Um, so what it is, is I'm obviously using my, um, falling sand clock thing. Um, I really like that clock. Um, this one is uh, testing for the arrow. I, you could also do the youngest arrow, arrow as you like by adding the C equals negative 1. And then note that the thing has to be in ground <coughs> um, in order for it to work. Because if you didn't have that there, um, it would teleport you to the arrow constantly, uh, whether or not it was in the ground. And if you just want it to teleport to you when it hits the ground, you need to have that tag up here. Anyways, when that comes out clear, it will um, teleport. Uh, uh, any entity that doesn't have the name of player, which is every entity in the game. So that's why you have to have to add this uh, scoreboard thing. And by the way, the excl exclamation point thing just means not. Um, the name equals not player. So you have to add this scoreboard thing so that it makes sure because not no other entity except for the player can have a scoreboard. So I just added that to make sure it teleports the player, and then. Uh, it teleports them to the arrow, the youngest one that um, that would be in the ground because there's some characters that's true. So this is the place on the mob ender uh, portal, you know, endermen. So that's when they teleport. This teleports the arrow to negative 300. The reason for that is uh, arrows don't despawn because they're not an entity anymore if they're in the ground. So you have to teleport them down, um, and they'll just force to spawn. And this affects you with uh, jump boost 8 for 2 seconds times 255. Uh, or jump boost 255 for 2 seconds. Um, and pretty much what that is, if you don't, didn't know already, is um, if you give yourself uh, jump boost 255 for X amount of seconds um, and you're in survival, um, the. Um, the concept is you're supposed to be able to fall infinitely and not take damage. Um, and that's not true. I actually teleported myself like 180 blocks up or something like that. And I actually took some damage, almost died actually. Um, so it's not infinite, but it's 180 is more than what you need to fall. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, I'm actually going to go for about another minute. Because with easy video, you have to actually. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. You could, you don't have to um, teleport the player. You can actually teleport and uh, falling sand entity, and that falling sand entity can have the ID of uh, fire or water or sand or anything you want it to be. Um, now I actually discovered this while I was doing this. I could do. I was trying to do the clock, the falling sand entity clock, and I realized something that. The, um, the command block that is teleporting the um, falling sand would actually teleport that. So that's not what you want. Um, so I, I was hoping that this would work. Uh, if you want to teleport the fire and key, I was hoping that if you did name equals uh, fire, um, that it would teleport only a fire falling sand and key. And then you could do the clock with the um, stone falling sand fire and key, um, which that's what I think would be that would actually work. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you um, the RPG or, or the fishing uh, rod explosive grenade launcher thing.
Um, so, yeah, and then there, that would be part three, and part four, I will show you one, a mystery one too much, uh, I'm not saying what it is yet, but, um, I will. So, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will talk to you guys later.